Welcome to the another video on the basic electrical engineering. Here we have discussed some of the numericals related to, uh, we will start with the uh, very basic uh, questions. Let us begin with uh, first. Determine the value of V and I in a register. The point noted that the current direction is shown over here and that is the reference is given to us. If the current direction is like this, so it is look like this and the current direction in this way. Based on the direction of the current, we can give the notation of the polarity across a register. And then we can apply the Ohm's law and other laws over here. So to solve it, let us go. And here the current direction is given. The based on the direction of the current, the polarity is mentioned over here, plus and minus. And uh, we can write, if we apply the KVL or we write a V over here, so we can write that this KVL in this closed path will be uh, moving like this, it will be 50 because the first sign is plus and here also first sign is plus so V is equals to 0 and here we can say V is equals to minus of 50. See again in this closed path we are taking the first sign as a reference so plus here again there is a plus so both will be positive and V is equal to minus of 50 volts. So from then we can write current is equal to V by R and which is equal to minus of 2 ampere. Thus we know what is the voltage and also we get the current. So since the current direction is shown in a something different way, actually it should be in a positive direction, the current should be like this. But if the question is asked in this way, so we are getting a negative value of the current and negative value of the voltage. Let's take another question, question 2. Determine the number of branch and node in the circuit. So how many branches are there? So we have got one branch, one, two, three, and four. Four elements in the four different branches. So B will be four. We know that B is equal to L plus N minus one, where L is the number of loop, N is the node. So how many number of branch and what are the number of nodes? So nodes, you can find that if these two nodes can be merged to one. This is one, another is two element joining over here, two, and here is, three elements are there. So you can have three number of nodes and two num four number of branches. Also identify which element are in series and which are in parallel. So obviously these two elements are in parallel in series with these elements. So if we can solve it, B is equal to uh, four and N is equal to three. From that we can find L is equal to two. Two is the number of loops that is possibly we can have independent <coughs> two loops and uh, we can have to relate this formula and after relating we also getting the b is equal to 4 so whatever we get is right and also which element are in series so obviously these two elements are in series if i combine these two these two are in parallel and together they are in series with the other two elements Again, the same thing, branch and node also identify the element that is in series in parallel. So here we have solved it, uh, that number of branch elements, one, two, three, four, five. So number of branches are five and nodes you have, uh, you can calculate the node. If you say that this is the number of loops, one, two and three, there are three loops are passed there. So you can have three, uh, if you put in this formula, you can get N is equal to three. Which are three? So you can combine these two and say this is one node. You can combine these two and say second node. And all these three can be joined to form the third node. So you can see that how three nodes, you can get it from here. Uh, looking at the picture, you can get it from the formula, but it is better to look at the picture and get how number of nodes are there. Another problem is that find the voltage V1 and V2. So you have been asked find the voltage V1 and V2. In the question, they have smartly given the direct polarity uh, beforehand. So now it given to you, you can choose the direction of the current as you want. So let us say you choose the direction of the current like this. So you know, you don't have an option like from the current give a sign convention. Rather, uh, you can simply put a KVL and write the equation or uh, yeah, you can put a KVL so you can if you move like this. So you will say minus of 40, minus of 40 volt is that negative is coming first. 
then you have plus so plus of v1 then you will say minus here so minus of v2 is equal to zero if you apply a kvl in this closed path you are getting this type of structure and you have to say you have to moving from a to b then c d and a so you have to mention the path is equals to a b c d a so if you mention the path and you apply kvl kirchhoff's voltage law in this closed path then you are getting this formula then from the ohm's law you can get what is the value of v1 v1 is equal to i into uh, 4i you can say 4i v1 and what is a v2 v2 is equal to is negative voltage so you get the minus of 6i so now you get a value of v1 and v2 you substitute the value of v1 v2 in the main equation obviously you will get the value of current to see that v1 is equals to from ohm's law you get v1 is equal to 4i1 and v2 is equal to minus of 6i sorry not i1 is i since same current is flowing so from the ohm's law you get the value of v1 and v2 and kvl around the loop there is no uh, around this loop you will have this equation by substituting it you get the current equals to 4 ampere and if you put this value you get v1 and v2 Uh, as the desired voltage 16 volt and minus 24 volt just to tell you that the here the v2 voltage is intensely made in such a way so that the polarity is made negative intensely otherwise if this circuit would have been like this and only you have got a voltage source written like this so if the current in this loop will forward in a clockwise direction the polarity would have been like this plus minus and plus minus here in this question intensely it is made minus and plus so that the student will get confused and they give answer otherwise v1 is equal to 16 volt and v2 is minus 24 volts <coughs> sorry let us have another problem determine v0 and i so in this problem there is a this is independent sources and there is a dependent sources so don't worry if you have dependent sources you have seen that in the dependent sources it is 2v0 so there must be in the problem somewhere v0 written yes v0 is written over here so first you apply the kvl and you move in this direction and find out that how the you are reading suppose you start with point a b and c and d and a in this closed loop if it will start moving in this path so you can say in the closed path a b c d and a the path must start from a and reach at a so it is minus of 6 uh, minus of 6 the minus is the first encounter then yes before that you must give a direction of the current so current direction is made clockwise if you give a direction of the clockwise then if we move the uh, direction of the current in this way there is a plus symbol over here and minus over the symbol over here similarly here uh, direction of the current is like this so the sign will have plus and minus in this way but in this question beforehand they have given plus and minus so do not alter it because this plus and minus is the how the if the voltmeter positive terminal is connected here and a voltmeter negative terminal is connected here then what is the voltage reading it is been asked so don't get confused simply use a kvl and without using your convention just whatever the convention is given you follow that so here minus 6 then you go from here it is 2 of i then you see the first plus sign that plus that means 2 v0 whatever this is the voltage so simply write all the voltages then you get minus so minus 2 then here you get again minus v0 so minus v0 is equal to 0 so that's the way your kvl is done so you can see that this terms is going to cancel or you can have another term is there from the ohms law you can say v0 is equal to i minus i into this is 3i but the entire thing will be negative so minus of 3i so you get here two terms from the ohms law by value of the v0 and from the kvl you get uh, kvl you get the equation like this so see the solution here so you get our kvl you got this equation and from the ohms law you get this value of v0 you substitute this v0 in this uh, in this equation here also and here also you substitute the value of v0 so you get here uh, current is equal to minus of 8 ampere and you substitute the value i is minus of 8 ampere v0 is giving 24 volt 
that means if the v0 the volt if the voltmeter is shown over here and the voltmeter positive and negative terminals are connected like this so it will record 24 volt so if you would have written like this and you connect a voltmeter with positive terminal here negative terminal here you could have recorded minus 24 volt so this sign is already given so accordingly you have to write the equation Another problem is here find I0 and V0. So where in this circuit you have got a current source and here another current source but it's a dependent current source. If I0 is written here in the circuit somewhere I0 is already written. So you just assume that this is a current sources, two current sources are there, one register already sign convention is done. So to solve this you just uh, take the value of the this current source at a particular node find out the kcl at this node if you add the current is going towards the node it is 3 plus 3 this is 0 0.5 i0 is going towards the node again plus and i0 is coming out of the node again minus this is one equation is done similarly you get i0 value is done if once you know the i0 v0 you can evaluate and get 24 volts Determine the value of I0 and V0 again in this equation. The circuit is given here. We have a current source and a voltage source and three registers. I1 is the current which is going through this 5 ohm and V0 is a voltage across this register. To solve this, first you have to take a notation like I1, I2 you give a notation here and I3 you give a notation again here and you can give desired direction. You can give direction like this <clears throat> or you can give sorry you can give a direction the opposite way it's up to you so i2 i3 that you have given given in the writing and the current which is going is is based first you can give your desired direction you are giving like this and here also downward so based on the i1 i2 and i3 and the direction of the current you can put a kcl at this node and you can write like this that i1 plus i2 is equal to i3 yes i1 and i2 are both coming to the node and i3 is going out Second thing is that depending on the direction of convention that you have given, you can give a sign polarity across the register. It is going from right to left, so plus and minus. It is going from top to bottom. It is plus and minus in like this. Because <coughs> this plus and minus already given uh, in the question, so it is matching because the direction of the current is going down. Now you have to give a KVL in the uh, complete node like A, B, D, and A. You can get, take this path. Uh, because here all the voltage terminals are there here also you can go but there is a current so over here current source is there you can assume a virtual voltage source that is possible rather than that we will go for a simplified way like a b d and a and then we go for a here it is saying the plus so it is plus 5 i1 then you can see a plus and minus it is 10 i3 then you get a see a negative and plus then it is minus 10 then you get a this equation if you solve these two equations, another thing is that in the I3, you can also write I2 is equals to uh, 10 ampere because I2 is 10 ampere. So if I2 will go on this side, it is minus of 10 and I3 will come here minus of I. So now we have got these two equations. Just solve these two equations, you will get all those things. And finally, you get where V0 is equal to 40 volts and the current I1 will get minus of 6 amperes. Now you have got another problem here, current and voltage been asked, here these are the given data with the voltage source and resistors are there here on the register. You have been asked what is the current which is flowing from 6 ohm resistor, what is the voltage across V1. So obviously you will try to get another two current source, name it a current source. If you give a current source in this direction, uh, then you have to give a sign convention according to the direction of the current source. Then you apply the KVL and Ohm's law here. So here I3, I2 and I3 you can see is named given. So plus and minus in the yellow color is written I3. So if you give a KVL over here, you will get an equation like this. This is minus 60 and counting first, then 6, then uh, 16 I1, then 6 I2. This is the one equation. Another is KVL you can apply to the B, C, D, A, B, C, D, uh, B, C, D, B. <coughs> Sorry, and this is not a busy B. So you will get this is got 12 I3, 12 I3 means it is coming from 12 I3, then you get minus of that. So minus of 6 I2, you will get this equation. By using KCL, you will get another equation. Solve these three equations, you will get I1 and V1 values as 3 ampere and 48 volts. In next video, we will go to another problems.